Have you ever felt down, depressed, wanting something more from life? I know I personally have, and I'm sure you have too. You probably looked into things like counselling, maybe medication. Maybe if you, maybe some of you turned to drinking. Jeez, I know that's what I do. I mean, beer on my cocoa pops, please, mother. Some of you might have a pet, like a dog or a cat, that you cuddle up tight to and tell all your sad stories and problems, and they all disappear whilst your pet just is asleep, not even listening to you. All these are probably good things to help improve your mental health. Beside the beer with the cocoa pops, that was probably not a great idea and i am trying to get off it something i know for a fact you don't do and i would bet my mum and dad's house on it simply because i don't own any property is cuddle up to an alligator we have all played enough red dead 2 to see what happens when you uh, try to make friends with a gator gators are killers and simply have zero friends Fucking football friend! Everything they see, they eat. They are killers and mass murderers, similar to that of only Hitler himself. They are like the last remaining ancestors of dinosaurs as well. Like, do, do I need to say anything else? If there were more gators than people, we would be extinct. That is a fact. Check it in the dictionary. I guarantee it says it. I mean, have you seen these green scaly freaks run? I mean, that's terrifying enough, and it's something I never want to see in real life. So when I show you this next article, it's going to be a real shock to your nervous system as to what the hell you are looking at and what is going on. You will seriously question the people who, who organise this and question whether they are sane individuals or people who need genuine psychiatry help. Imagine, uh, bro, I don't care in the slightest whether you tell me this alligator is friendly and has got a pink lead on it to make you feel comfortable. I am not rubbing the pubes on its chin, no matter what. It's not going to make me feel better. It'll make me feel worse. It'll make me feel anxious. It'll make me feel like I'm about to become bloody two-fingered Phil because he's going to nibble him off for his supper. I mean, this guy's just getting comfortable. It's almost like a spy. He's making his way into society. He's like, I'm going to make my way into this family, become best friends. So they think that I am their friend and that I am their colleague when really my long term plan is to eat them all and have the biggest supper ever. Just let, let's be honest, you're not allowed dogs and cats in stadiums because you're just not. These people are confused that they're not allowed to bring an alligator into the ballpark. I mean, you can't bring animals in there sometimes. Uh, it's, it's classed as a service animal. Oh, it's not classed as a service animal. Who knows what that means? It's like blind dogs. You know, when you can take a dog somewhere because it helps you, you know, move. That's understandable. This alligator is going to scare people. It's already scaring me. I can see it. I can read its thoughts. It's BS does not get past me. I know what it wants in the long run. It wants food. It wants to migrate into society and then have the biggest feast it's ever going to have. It can't have that out in the wild and it can't have it in its zoo. This is a clever, clever fucker. He knows what he's doing and he knows that if he plays the long game, he's going to be laughing. He's going to be absolutely to his face with human brains or whatever they enjoy. I can't believe I'm going to say this. Can I... His chin rubbed? How do you know that? The Wally Gator does not bite and loves having his chin rubbed. What a load of gobbledygook. How do you know it loves getting its chin rubbed? It might just be really clever. He does not bite. You don't know he doesn't bite. My dog doesn't bite until it bites. You know what I mean? I'm not going to kick you in the head until I kick you in the head. That doesn't mean, and just because it's not bitten you and not bitten this lady with a terrible green hat on, does not mean it's going to smell my fingertips and go, <laughs> they smell like juicy sausage. Ow, 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 ow. And there you go. I've got no hand. I'm bleeding. And you've got a lawsuit on your hands. He lives with it. He lives with this guy. That's nuts. So he is classed as an emotional support alligator. 
and he was denied entry into a baseball stadium unsurprisingly now they felt like reading making an article about this so I felt like reading about it he turned up to a Philadelphia Phillies baseball match with its owner Joy Henney and said they were there to meet the players in an arranged visit I don't know what's worse the fact that they actually thought they'd be able to get in or the fact that this alligator right here is having a better life than I currently am he's meeting celebrities he's getting his chin rubbed he's getting fed three times a day I right, mate I'm living off two meals because I'm that poor oh, just imagine though you're there cheering on your team and you turn around and there's bloody alligators sat near your feet licking you asking for his chin to be rubbed I'll be like no thank you mate absolutely not I'm not rubbing your chin he has tens of thousands of social media followers holy shit this is honestly crazy he's gonna he's gonna be this it's gonna be like I don't know Harambe or whatever isn't it he's gonna be like a, um, a gem a public icon someone like Jimmy Savile isn't it he, he was seen and loved by everyone until it came out he was an absolute paedophile and a molester that's what's going to happen he's going to be a king oh my god this alligator so it's just killed a child oh it's just killed its entire family that is what's going to happen imagine were they actually invited to this match though they simply turned and went home oh good good for you mate well done they couldn't have visitors yeah they couldn't have alligators on the pitch what a what a shock just watch this a lady is walking her alligator like a dog in the park getting it wet i mean just look at this nonsense everyone's looking like holy shit should i be scared do i need to bring out my shotgun this is nuts americans see that and they don't know what to do they're getting their hunting rifles out they're getting their skinning equipment out they're like fucking hell it's supper time boys it's supper time so what do you think of this uh alligator here gone into schools police stations and hospitals with henny leading him around in his harness that is just terrible he's an internet sensation he's more famous than me and it's a fucking alligator god mate just imagine see look at that that's not a pet that's a freak of nature that deserves to be out there in the wild or have been extinct with its fellow reptilian friends that's not something you i want to touch oh god imagine what it eats as well i'm not getting any emotional support from an alligator i can promise you that look you guys let me know are you touching this beast this fucking creature of the night are you going anywhere near it nah bro i'd rather be depressed and miserable for my life than stroke that fucker's chin